Does your manufacturing process need a customizable testing system? Turn to the leader in measurement and automation technology, our solutions to test your products, so your customers won't have to.
make the world's most environmentally friendly bioethanol. At ST1, we were looking to answer this question when planning our own bioethanol plant. We started by putting aside all traditional ways of making bioethanol. We didn't really want to make it out of crops grown and shipped from the other side of the world. And then we noticed how all around us there's energy that is literally thrown to waste. Bio-waste. The kind of leftovers which bakeries, dairy factories, breweries and numerous other food producers dump in landfills by the tonne. The main challenge was transportation. Traditionally, the waste gets transported to one huge ethanol plant, which is costly and time-consuming. In other words, completely wasteful. That's when we understood we needed to turn around our way of thinking. We didn't want to build one gigantic ethanol plant, but many small ones instead. If the waste mountain won't come to the plant, let's bring the plant to the waste mountain. This thought brought about a completely new way of making bioethanol, dispersed production. By building small ethanol units next to these factories, the bio-waste and other leftovers don't get sent to landfills anymore. Instead, through a very efficient process of fermentation, they're distilled into 85% alcohol. Even the energy to power this process comes from renewable resources. The leftovers from the fermentation process can also be used as feed for animals. And since the bioethanol plants are close to both factories and farms, we save on transportation. The same container trucks that restock petrol stations are used to move the ethanol from these small units to a larger plant. On their way back from the petrol stations, they simply fill their tank with ethanol, so we avoid driving empty trucks around. The ethanol needs to be boosted so it can be blended with petrol. We do that in a separate dewatering unit where the ethanol is turned into almost pure alcohol. Thanks to today's advanced technology, this process consumes very little energy. That's the idea behind ST1's dispersed ethanol production. We scatter small units all around the world next to food factories that produce bio-waste and farms that can use the leftovers. We keep an eye on energy consumption and we keep the environment clean. This is how we create the world's cleanest bioethanol without producing any extra greenhouse gases. Since the Wright brothers' inaugural flight at Kitty Hawk in 1903, aircraft have come a long way. Aeronautical engineers work on aircraft which operate within the Earth's atmosphere. While may be experts in a variety of disciplines, including aerodynamics, propulsion, thermodynamics, structures, acoustics, or guidance and control systems. Since their designs are responsible for the safety of both people and equipment, aeronautical and astronautical engineers must be highly skilled and typically need advanced post-college education and training. Developing new technologies to compete in the defense and private aviation industries can be a challenging job. These engineers must be able to handle design deadlines and testing failures while constantly finding innovative solutions in a competitive environment. To perform these jobs well, you should have a strong sense of curiosity and willingness to constantly learn the latest technologies. If your imagination is captivated whenever you see a plane fly overhead and you have an aptitude for problem solving, this may be a rewarding your choice.